Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to explore a fascinating topic, the Earth during the time of the dinosaurs. Join me as we delve into the past and discover the incredible world that these magnificent creatures once roamed. So buckle up and let's embark on an exciting journey through time. The Earth has undergone many changes since its formation around 4.6 billion years ago. One of the most fascinating periods in Earth's history was the age of the dinosaurs, which lasted from about 252 to 66 million years ago. During this time, dinosaurs dominated the planet, and the Earth looked very different from how it does today. In this video, we will take a closer look at what the Earth was like during the age of the dinosaurs. Formation of the Earth To understand the Earth during the age of the dinosaurs, we need to go back to the very beginning. The Earth was formed around 4.6 billion years ago as a result of the accretion of gas, dust, and other materials in the early solar system. At first, the Earth was a ball of molten rock, but as it cooled, the crust began to form, and the first continents began to emerge. It took millions of years for the Earth's atmosphere to develop, and the first living organisms appeared around 3.5 billion years ago. Dinosaurs arrive on Earth. The arrival of the dinosaurs on Earth was a significant event in the history of life on our planet. These prehistoric creatures dominated the land for millions of years and left behind an enduring legacy that continues to fascinate and inspire people today. The first dinosaurs are believed to have appeared on Earth during the late Triassic period, which occurred about 230 million years ago. At this time, the Earth was very different from the world we know today. The continents were still forming and the climate was much warmer and more humid. The early dinosaurs were small, fast-running creatures that likely lived in the shadows of other reptiles, such as the crocodiles and the pterosaurs. Over time, however, the dinosaurs grew in size and diversity, developing a range of different body shapes and sizes to suit their various ecological niches. One of the key features that allowed the dinosaurs to become so successful was their ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions. For example, during the Jurassic period, which occurred about 200 million years ago, the earth became much drier and more arid, and many of the plants and animals that the dinosaurs relied on for food began to disappear. To survive, the dinosaurs had to develop new adaptations, such as longer necks and specialized teeth, to allow them to feed on new types of vegetation. The dinosaurs continued to thrive during the Cretaceous period, which occurred about 145 million years ago. During this time, the Earth's climate was warmer and more stable, and the dinosaurs diversified into a wide range of different species, including the iconic Tyrannosaurs, Stegosaurs, and Triceratops. Despite their success, however, the dinosaurs were not invincible. About 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid impact occurred that devastated the Earth and triggered a mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs and many other forms of life. The precise cause of the extinction event is still a subject of debate among scientists, but it is believed to have been caused by a combination of factors, including the impact itself, which caused massive wildfires and a global cooling effect, as well as other environmental changes such as volcanic activity and changes in sea level. Geography and Climate of the Age of Dinosaurs During the Age of Dinosaurs, which lasted from about 230 million to 66 million years ago, the geography and climate of the Earth was very different from what it is today. The continents were arranged differently, and the climate was generally warmer and more humid, with higher levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The supercontinent of Pangaea was starting to break apart during the Triassic period, which marked the beginning of the age of dinosaurs. As the continents drifted apart, new oceans and seas formed, and the Earth's geography began to take on the shape we recognize today. During the Jurassic period, which occurred from about 201 million to 145 million years ago, the Earth was generally warmer and more humid than it is today. The climate was relatively stable, with few major temperature fluctuations, and there were no ice caps at the poles. The sea level was also much higher than it is today, with much of the land covered by shallow seas. The Cretaceous period, which occurred from about 145 million to 66 million years ago, was characterized by a warmer and more stable climate, with high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. During this time, the Earth's climate was generally more arid than during the Jurassic period, with large areas of desert and semi-arid grasslands. One of the most significant climate events of the Cretaceous period was the development of the Western Interior Seaway, a vast inland sea that covered much of North America. This seaway was formed by rising sea levels and changes in the Earth's tectonic plates, and it had a major impact on the geography and climate of the region. 
The seaway was home to a rich variety of marine life, including ammonites, mosasaurs, and sharks. The changing geography and climate of the age of dinosaurs had a profound impact on the evolution of the dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. For example, the development of the Western Interior Seaway provided new ecological niches for marine reptiles and other sea creatures, while the arid conditions of the Cretaceous period may have driven the evolution of specialized herbivores, such as the duck-billed hadrosaurs. Flora and Fauna of the Age of Dinosaurs The Age of Dinosaurs, which lasted from about 230 million to 66 million years ago, was a time of great diversity and richness in the flora and fauna of the Earth. During this period, a wide variety of plants and animals evolved, adapted to the changing environments and conditions of the time. The early dinosaurs coexisted with a variety of other prehistoric animals, including pterosaurs, crocodiles, and various types of small reptiles. Over time, however, the dinosaurs became increasingly dominant, developing a range of different body shapes and sizes to suit their various ecological niches. In terms of flora, the age of dinosaurs was characterized by the emergence of new types of plants, such as the cycads, conifers, and ginkgos. These plants were adapted to the changing climate and atmospheric conditions of the time, and they provided important sources of food for the herbivorous dinosaurs. During the Jurassic period, which occurred from about 201 million to 145 million years ago, there was a rich diversity of prehistoric animals, including some of the most iconic dinosaurs, such as the long-necked Brachiosaurus, the armored Stegosaurus, and the meat-eating Allosaurus. There were also many different types of plant-eating dinosaurs, such as the sauropods and the ornithischians. During the Cretaceous period, which occurred from about 145 million to 66 million years ago, the dinosaurs continued to thrive and diversify. This period saw the emergence of some of the most famous dinosaurs of all time, including the Triceratops, the duck-billed hadrosaurs, and the fearsome Tyrannosaurs. In addition to the dinosaurs, there were many other types of prehistoric animals that lived during this time, such as the pterosaurs, the marine reptiles, and the mammals. The mammals of the Cretaceous period were relatively small and insignificant compared to the dinosaurs, but they played an important role in the evolutionary history of the group. The flora of the Cretaceous period was also diverse, with a wide variety of plants adapted to the changing environmental conditions. In addition to the cycads, conifers, and ginkgos that had emerged earlier, there were also new types of flowering plants, which would go on to become the dominant type of plant on Earth. The Age of Dinosaurs The most famous inhabitants of the Earth during the Age of the Dinosaurs were the dinosaurs themselves. There were many different types of dinosaurs, each with their own unique characteristics. Let's take a closer look at some of the most well-known types of dinosaurs from the Age of the Dinosaurs. 1. Sauropods Sauropods were the largest land animals that ever lived. These massive, long-necked creatures could grow up to 100 feet long and weigh as much as 100 tons. Some of the most well-known sauropods include the Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Diplodocus. Sauropods were herbivores and had to eat vast quantities of plants to sustain their massive bodies. They had long necks to reach the highest branches of trees, and they swallowed their food whole, relying on stones in their stomachs to help grind up the tough plant material. 2. Theropods Theropods were a group of carnivorous dinosaurs that included the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. These dinosaurs had sharp, serrated teeth and powerful jaws for tearing apart their prey. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest theropods, measuring up to 40 feet long and weighing as much as 15 tons. It had an enormous head and powerful legs for chasing down its prey. Velociraptor was much smaller, but still deadly. It was about the size of a turkey and had sharp claws on its feet for hunting. 3. Stegosaurs. Stegosaurs were herbivorous dinosaurs that were known for their distinctive plates and spikes on their backs. These plates were used for display, possibly as a way of attracting mates or intimidating predators. Stegosaurs also had a spiked tail that they could use to defend themselves. It was about 30 feet long and weighed up to 5 tons. 4. Ceratopsians. Ceratopsians were a group of herbivorous dinosaurs that had distinctive frills and horns on their heads. One of the most famous ceratopsians is the Triceratops, which had a massive frill and three horns on its head. It was about 30 feet long and weighed up to 12 tons. 5. Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs were a group of herbivorous dinosaurs that were covered in thick, bony armor. They had heavy, club-like tails that they could use to defend themselves against predators. This dinosaur had a massive, bony club at the end of its tail and thick armor plating over its body. 
It was about 30 feet long and weighed up to 6 tons. 6. Ornithopods. Ornithopods were a group of herbivorous dinosaurs that included some of the most common and widespread dinosaurs of the age of the dinosaurs. They had beaks and specialized teeth for grinding up plant material. One of the most well-known ornithopods is the Hadrosaurus. This dinosaur was about 25 feet long and had a distinctive, duck-billed snout. It had rows of teeth in its mouth that it used to grind up tough plant material. 7. Pterosaurs. Pterosaurs were not dinosaurs, but they lived alongside them during the age of the dinosaurs. They were flying reptiles that had wings made of skin and were the first vertebrates to achieve powered flight. Pterosaurs ranged in size from small, bird-sized creatures to giants with wingspans of up to 33 feet. Conclusion. The age of dinosaurs came to an end with a catastrophic event, a massive asteroid impact that caused widespread devastation and extinction. Many of the dinosaurs and other animals that had evolved during this time were unable to survive the aftermath, and the world was forever changed. However, the legacy of the age of dinosaurs lives on today. The fossils of these incredible animals continue to capture our imaginations, and the study of their biology, behavior, and evolution has provided us with a wealth of knowledge about the history of life on Earth. The age of dinosaurs remains one of the most fascinating and inspiring periods in Earth's history, and it will continue to capture our imagination for generations to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos or comments on this one, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And, as always, thanks for supporting my channel.